I'm Paul Fransen, uh, Technical Business Manager in Europe for Volac International. Today we will talk about the FET calculator. There is already a model online, this is the first uh, version. We're now developing a second version, which we have actually developed because of questions of dairy farmers and feed consultants. In both cases, what's really unique about this program compared to other programs, is based on really good research. Not one trial, but it's looking at the results of a 65 scientific published peer-reviewed papers. And these analyses have been done by the research group of Adam Locke in Michigan State University. What's really nice about uh, the analysis done by this research group, it tells us what's the average effect of feeding different types of rubber protected fats, being hydrogenated fats or hydrogenated PVD mainly, fractionated fats, high C16s, let's say 85% and up on C16 content, and calcium salts such as Magalac, a well-known brand uh, globally. And the nice bit about this research is not only telling the average results, but also what will happen with your milk production, feed efficiency, milk fat, etc. if you feed more fat or less fat. What well, actually allows dairy farmers to do is actually to look on their own farm with their milk price, with their feed costs, in the terms of what's going to be the financial benefit on my farm? What's the, the financial benefit of producing more kilograms of milk, or milk fat, or more milk, milk protein, for example? So here we've got a couple of uh, examples many, let's say, uh, graphs to choose from, which actually will help dairy farmers and feed advisors to make a good decision if they should be feeding fat at all. Does it make any sense? Because there are also reasons, for example, at the extreme low milk price where it doesn't make sense to, make, uh, to feed fat. But it also gives you advice if to feed fat, which one is the best to feed on your farm and, and how much to feed. An interesting, uh, another interesting way of looking at it is that on a financial base, there are two financial numbers to look at as a dairy farmer. First of all, I said, do you make a margin? Do you make a profit if you feed fats? As for every product that you feed, be it, let's say, a live yeast or a concentrate or a rubber protected fat, do I make a margin on it or more margin on it than I'm not feeding it? And what would happen if I would feed, uh, feed more? That's your margin per cow per day. What's also important, I say that if you're coming into a situation where cash flow is limited on your farm, that you choose for those investments that bring the highest return for every penny, for every pound, for every dollar or euro that you invest. That's called, let's say, the return on investment. This program does both. It will also tell you as well as how it comes, let's say, that your cows will produce more milk or more milk fat. Because we know from the research that different fats of road protective fats have different effects on, for example, the fatty acid digestibility. There, the calcium salts are by far the best in terms of improving fatty acid digestibility. And since actually really shortly, we also know that this content of C16 and root protected fats actually can help specific microbes in the rumen to digest fibers in a better way, and that that way actually increase also the microbial protein, which actually increases your protein content. So that, I wouldn't call it in a short <laughs> span, but that in short actually is what the new model, uh, model does. It just gives you better advice in terms of when to feed fat and how much to feed and which fat. That's it for our Why Feed Fat series, which I hope you found both useful and insightful. If you want to know more, then please follow us on our social media channels or contact us via our website. Thanks for watching. Hi there, my name is Hannes Loesgaat. I'm the general manager of Father Wilmar. And at the end of this episode, I would like to thank you for watching and not only this uh, why feed fats uh, series, but also the other uh, episodes before this. I think it was extremely valuable for all the viewers. I think it was an excellent example of where our company stands for. Uh, not only the products that it produces and sells into the market, but also how it cares about the environment, the sustainability of our business and the challenges that our customers stand for. 
I would like to thank the team, Richard Kirkland and John Newbold and the whole team that was involved in making all the episodes of Why Fix That. Uh, they did a tremendous job. I'm sure there will be more content to follow on video or on our social media network or on our website. Please follow us. Uh, thank you very much.